the hill She says I just can't win for losing She lays back down Man, there's so many times I don't know what I'm doing Like I don't know Hi YouTube I'm doing a video on how to customize your channel today with YouTube layouts. So I know a lot of people know how to do this, but I've been informed that a lot of people don't know how. Okay, so the way YouTube layout works, I'll show you now, is you download this background picture, background here. And you select that as what you want it as your background. Then on the website you find this at, it will tell you what to put your text box colors and your link colors and everything like that at to make it look like the picture you have. So I'm going to show you how that works. The site I'm going to be using today is www.ytlayouts.com. Dot net. And this has many YouTube layouts on here. As you can see, that's the one I have. Alright, so they have many, many categories here. See, they only have 98 like, all together. You know, some of the ones they have most of are gaming layouts, abstract layouts, and some girly layouts. But I'll explain it. Show you here's some entertainment things from the TV show Lost. These two club, um, retro ones. Um, Computer. Pretty cool ones though. Alright, so I'm gonna start gaming layouts. Say I'm on a game account. Alright, and I'm gonna select the PlayStation 3 one here. Alright, so you click right here on background image. And it gives you this background image, and you're going to want to save it as that. Don't zoom in. So save it as something you'll be able to find it in. down there. Now I'll switch this other tab. Alright, so edit channel. So as you can see I have a Vista one here, which is it. So I could change back to that whenever I want to. So new theme here. I'm gonna name it PS3. Alright, so Back to this site, and you're going to need all this information in here. I suggest copy and pasting, it makes it a lot easier. Alright. So, first thing I suggest doing is uploading your background. As you see, I have one there. I have a few. So, select this one. And it immediately uploads the PlayStation 3 background. Okay, so um, I could really go either way here. It tells you area, but you could do whatever. All right, so I'm gonna start your background color. Copy. Okay, it's already in there. All right, link color. Notice how it says don't repeat the background again. So, link. 
put it in any of the things that say link array, even if it says wrapper link array. Alright, so now I'm doing label colors. Um, what I call them? Label colors. If you, I usually put label as wrapper. Oh no, that that's not it. This is the color of the wrapper for it. Maybe that's a little too far. So you get the idea. You edit all of these to match to match these in here, and you'll come out with this. It would be cool. And then you could save it on here if you want to be able to go back to it. So, I know that's not right, but after that, you can save it so you can go back to it whenever you want. Alright, so I'm going to select Vista. And you see it changes it all down there. So that's how you change between the layouts and how you create your own Noob Soup layout. As you know, there's other ways you can do it if you want, like, your logo as your background. And I'm going to show you that one right here. time let me check my time here yeah I've got time all right so we choose file here all right um all right so I select my logo here and I'm not sure what I want do I want to repeat it Okay. Well, it's not letting me choose this one. Some reason. Alright, so say I want the Vista logo as my background here. Let's see. That's actually pretty cool. It will come up with it like that. If you want it, repeat, repeat. If you don't want it to repeat, it'll look like that. You probably won't see it at all. So, I'll say repeat. And background color, we'll make it blue. Wrapper color, we'll make it blue. At the text color, we'll make white. Now we'll make gray. Link color, we'll make white. Trying to get as close as to the logo as possible, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Alright, so I'm just going to keep it black because that's pretty sweet. Alright, so save it as that. And now you have your own custom layout. You can do it with any pictures if you want a picture of yourself. If you want, whatever, you know, it will work. 